Welcome to Real Food and today um, I just wanted to share a few uh, tricks on how to how to keep your asparagus fresh for longer. I quite like asparagus because it's such a nice delicious and um, healthy vegetable but quite often as soon as you buy it if you don't cook it on the same day um, it kind of starts to um, not necessarily to rot, but it starts to really lose its freshness and crispiness and uh, and then it develops also that um, not very pleasant smell. I mean, it's even a different smell to um, to how it reacts inside human body. But really, you know, to keep it fresh, it's as simple as um, putting it into a bucket of water, um, just um, just as you see here. And I found, um, because it's a, a, it's a green um, stem um, that likes um, moist soil and water. It feels really comfortable if you put it um, in in water. And I would recommend if you want to keep it for several days or a week, I would recommend to change the water to give it some fresh water every day or so. Um, and then you get these delicious, fresh, um, gorgeous-looking stems, which you can uh, cook as and when you feel like, and and not waste the rest of it. Another thing I wanted to talk um, quickly is um, these, these lovely peppers. Um, I think these are sweet peppers, but I recently tried um, um, what's called padron peppers. Um, these are Spanish or, or you know, Latin American uh, green peppers. They're this kind of size. Um, they're not very hot at all. Um, and I really liked how they were cooked. Basically, what, what they've done with them, they, um, they steamed them and grilled them lightly in olive oil and they tasted absolutely delicious. Um, I couldn't actually find any sort of authentic padro padron peppers you know, as such. I mean, they're typically green, but I found these miniature peppers. I think they're sold, um, they're sold in many um, British supermarkets at the moment. Well, these come from Sainsbury's, um, but I have seen them before, and I have actually had them before. Um, I think these are slightly different variety um, that's one thing, but they are the same, the right size, and I'm going to experiment today, and I'm going to try and prepare them um, the way padron peppers are served, and I'll see how that works. And um, what I really like about um, asparagus is that um, they're incredibly easy to prepare. I mean, I literally, all I do, I just cut them into these um, segments. I cut off um, the very tough, the very um, sort of woody bit at the end, and the rest just goes um, in the pan. I add a little bit of water in there, maybe a little bit of salt, and I gently steam them, and then I drain the water, and they're ready to go. I mean, it literally takes a couple of minutes. I mean, if you like them soft, um, take another minute. Um, if you like them crisp, just you know, just a couple of minutes of steaming and, and check them occasionally. Um, to get the right amount of crispiness and um, and um, tenderness in them, and that's it, and they're done. So um, that's one good thing. With peppers, um, it might take a little longer because I think I would first need to steam them to collapse the, these um, uh, fairly firm um, shapes, and then I would add some olive oil and I would gr grill them lightly, maybe with some herbs.
And now I am um, beginning my um, padron or substitute padron peppers experiment. So what I'm trying to do here is to tenderize the, the um, shells a little. So I'm going to steam them lightly um, to get these um, shells um, light and tender. And then I'm going to add um, olive oil um, to grill them and uh, get them to that nice oily, juicy state with maybe some herbs and, um, and a little salt. So water is now practically almost all evaporated and I'm thinking they have become a little softer, not, not, it, they haven't collapsed completely just yet, but I think it's a good time to add olive oil. So I'm now going to add olive oil and I'm going to grill them lightly in olive oil um, from this point. Um, because I think in terms of steaming, I got everything I wanted and now they will just need to be grilled in olive oil to get that tender, juicy, um, soft texture. So, and I will be turning them occasionally um, from one side to another um, to make sure each side gets enough heat. So, and I really like the color. The color looks amazing. And it's so beautiful, so colorful. So now, um, after a couple of minutes in, in, um, in the heat of oil, they are gradually collapsing and this is the kind of um, um, shape I really want from them. So they are becoming softer and, um, and they get that uh, nice golden, um, golden uh, crust at the top. So this is the kind of texture and look um, I was aiming for. Um, so um, and it does work. So I think I'm going to achieve my uh, padron um, pepper style um, look and taste, hopefully, from these peppers.
Okay, here they are. My grilled peppers are ready. And I've already tried a um, couple of them. They're absolutely delicious. They're just as good as padron peppers. They lack that um, a, a slight um, bitterness um, that are present in the padron peppers. But these are just as nice, honestly. They're, they're absolutely fantastic. So I would definitely recommend um, grilling them just like this. Um, so um, I hope you liked these... Um, um, tricks um, with uh, asparagus and um, and peppers, and um, you can share some of you your your own recipes and secrets and tricks. And let me wish you a good evening, good weekend, and I'll chat to you again later.